Maddie, age 11, is a new walker, and this is the first time she has had a belt cane on. It's February 27th of 2022. She has a cerebral visual impairment. She also has no use of her left arm. She has an unsteady gait, and the gait trainer did not work for her. She's walking through her classroom wearing a pediatric belt cane. Her teacher is behind her, offering her balance support. The frame is the specialty frame, which is the shorter of the two. The teacher remains close for balance. She's taking a few independent steps, then pauses to lean her weight back into her teacher's arms. A month later, she is walking down the hallway holding on to a hand wrap. Sorry, this is a terrible video. Happy birthday. Maddie is now 12. In June of 2022, Maddie is walking through her classroom. It's cluttered. The teacher remains close for balance support, and the bell cane indicates an obstacle in her path. October 2022, eight months later, she is walking independently. There is no teacher behind her for support. Now the teacher remains close to take video from the forward position as she watches Maddie walk down the middle of the hallway independently. Maddie has blonde hair and a ponytail and it's flapping back and forth as her good hand controlling her cane frame as she quickly walks down the center of the school hallway. Walking down the center of the hallway, Maddie looks every bit the teenager she has just become. Happy 13th birthday. What a milestone. Maddie uses her good hand to control her cane frame as she walks down the school hallway. Maddie's outside on the sidewalk, and it's August 29 of 2023. She's wonderfully loud. She's a cheerleader for herself. Nice job walking outside. Doing so well. No one is behind her. No one is offering any support. She's walking down the sidewalk. However, the specialty frame gets easily stuck in sidewalk cracks. The teacher helps to free it as Maddie stands in the sunshine. Maddie's walking a few more steps. The teacher has to provide extra assists because the bell cane once again got stuck in the sidewalk seam. Maddie's taking a few more steps, walking, and being wonderfully loud. The specialty frame... Good fixing yourself. Maddie just freed herself as she's walking in the sunshine outside on the sidewalk. The specialty frame is really best used inside where there are no drop-offs. Here we see her walking down an asphalt sidewalk with a thick grass border. The teacher has to provide extra assistance as the cane frame's tips gets caught on grass border and slows her down. Oh, her do cane tip grass? stuck, stumbles forward, okay. catches her balance and stops. It's September 22, 2023. She's back inside in her cute matching set of jean shorts and free to be me t-shirt. Her pediatric belt cane, when her teacher holds her good arm, Maddie is unable to independently control her pediatric bell cane. At the door, Maddie's teacher has opted instead to use her foot to reposition Maddie's cane frame to locate the clear path. Maddie's new teacher has introduced a new goal, trailing the wall with her one good arm. Good job. Keep walking. Keep walking. Mm -hmm. Nice work. In Let's this go, clip, girl. we see that Maddie knows the cane always goes first because as she rounds the corner, she keeps the cane in front, which locates the tile bathroom. Going into the bathroom? Safe Toddles is a nonprofit. We enable parents to child proof their blind child's walking as they learn about their world. Good walking. For more information, contact us. Corner. Info at safetoddles.org. Oh, well, let's stay on the wall. 845-244-6600. Maddie knows she controls her cane frame. Sorry, not sorry.